Hey everyone, Sephira is here and today I'm back with another video. I got a lot of requests for more sketchbook videos, so I decided to share 5 fun tips which hopefully get you inspired and motivated to draw in your sketchbook. For this tip you will need some washi tape and some watercolors or watercolor pencils. And I'm just making random triangles and shapes with the washi tape and after that I will use watercolors to fill in the shapes I just created with the washi tape. And this is such a fun way to create a very interesting page and it's actually really relaxing to do this kind of thing and the fun part also is peeling off the tape. And it's even better when you have a clean peel off but sadly my washi tape isn't the best, so they're not super clean. And in the end, I just add some white dots and highlights to really make it look like a galaxy. Tip number two. So for this tip, all you need is a picture or an image and you stick it in your sketchbook and after that you try to recreate that picture. You can go as creative as you like with this tip. And I just had this picture of some blossom and I really really liked the picture so I decided to try and recreate it. This way you have a reference right in front of you and you can really take your time to recreate that picture. And what's nice is that you don't need to come up with an idea to draw because you already have that. And for this picture I used some gouache um, paint just because I really like working with it and I just really wanted to try it out and yeah I had a lot of fun creating this tip and I hope you find this one inspirational as well. The next tip is super simple and super easy to do. Just create some backgrounds and patterns in your sketchbook. I decided to make some sort of background with some nice pastel colors. I know that it's very easy, but it's also really helping me to relax. And sometimes it's just really nice to relax and paint a little without worrying about if it is in proportion or if the shading or coloring is right. This is just something you can always do even if you have no inspiration. Just pick some nice colors, draw some shapes and fill them in. Have fun! You can be as creative as you like. Tip number four, summarize your day in doodles. So for this tip, I decided to briefly summarize my own day in little doodles and drawings. Starting with my morning and some highlights of the day, such as walking with my dog Toby and my evening. This is a really fun thing to do in your sketchbook and you also make a lot of drawings in one page. I chose to only use three colors for this drawing just to make it look more interesting. But you can pick any color you like and you can also just make it very realistic. Just summarize your day in doodles and you will end up with a nice looking page. You can also summarize special days such as trips or holidays. Just make it special for yourself. I finished up this drawing by writing next to all the doodles and use some arrows to guide others through the page. And this is also something you could do in a bullet journal. This is just a really nice way to doodle in your sketchbook and it is also a lot of fun. And the final tip I have for you guys is to study something and make a page dedicated to that subject. So for this tip I chose to draw some plants because I never really studied them before. So I looked up some specific plants and studied them and drew them in my sketchbook. You can pick any subject you like for this tip. For example cars, dogs, cats, k-pop stars, etc. And this is not only a fun tip but this will also help you improve a drawing. These were 5 fun things you could do in your sketchbook. 
I've already given 15 tips in total, so there must be one you like, I hope. <laughs> I really hope all these tips give you some inspiration and motivation to get trying. And remember that it doesn't need to be perfect, because it is just a sketchbook. It is important to enjoy what you're doing and that you enjoy and love drawing. So I really really hope you like this video and please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more art videos. And I hope to see you soon everyone. Bye bye and thanks for watching. Bye!